You are listening to all the Bacon and Eggs podcasts on the 72 Entertainment Group Podcast Network. Oh, man. It says right here, Carl Weathers died. It's not funny. He was a good actor. And a former no, linebacker. No. You just said that before. And I was, I can't recreate my initial reaction. That's the whole point. And I'm, I, I'm just sitting here when well, you told me that. I'm like, what? I just saw him in the Rocky. <laughs> like somebody was reviewing Rocky last night and I was watching it and I was like, Carl Weathers needed to be in more stuff. Man. And I don't know why now, you find this funny. And now I'm just like, that sucks, man. That's not good. Oh, it's not funny. He played in eight games. Oh, wait. Yeah, in eight games for the Raiders. Yeah. Yeah, he was a linebacker. Played at San Diego State. How old was he? 79. Carl Weathers. Oh, 76. 76. Carl yeah. Weathers. Best, best known for um, Han Solo, friend. He was just, that's right. He was just in. No, he was not. Billy D. Williams. Anyway, um, what was his character's name? He was in Star Wars, though. He was in in the Mandalorian. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. I texted my wife. She's a huge Carl Weathers fan. I said Carl Weathers died, and she goes, "Oh no, Apollo died all over again." <laughs> See, now you're laughing. And you're talking about me. That's come on, man. Wait, how's your wife a Carl Weathers fan? She loves Carl Weathers. She loves Rocky. Oh, Huge okay. Rocky. Oh, okay. All right. Rocky's like her favorite movies. Okay. All right. I don't say, okay. That's good. Because she's Mexican. She can't be a Carl Weathers fan. That doesn't make any sense. I know. Like, it, I, why would you ask because that? Because she, she hates Scott Pilgrim. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just I don't know I don't know how Carl Weathers and Scott Pilgrim have any correlation. Yeah, I don't know either. But, but, I would make sense that she liked Carl Weathers because she doesn't like Scott Pilgrim, I right? Don't know. I don't know. She likes serious acting roles like Apollo Creed. I, like I I enjoy them both, and I, I just you know yeah it is it is what it is, and you know Carl Weathers I wasn't going to do a, a I'm not trying to do an obituary for all Carl Weathers, but he. I was literally just thinking, like, he only did Action Jackson, uh, Action, Action, oh my goodness, <laughs> Action Jackson. Oh, dude. As a solo film that I can recall. I don't remember him being in anything else. He was in like, Predator. No, 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 no. Oh. Like, where he wasn't, where he was the main character. Oh, oh, gotcha. Yeah. So he, you know, he, of course, he was in Predator. He was in Rocky, you know, Apollo Creed, the best. Toy Story 4. The best creed, the best creed. Uh, which one did you say? What? Which Ac- action? Which Jackson? Rocky? No, he was in. He was in. He was in uh, Rocky one, two, and three, and yeah. four. Yeah, four, he was in all, four it, one was a really bad one though, right? The one where, was, where was he fought the right? No, 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 no. That's five. That's five where like, really nothing bad. really happens. The entire movie It's bad. Oh. Yeah, four is where he uh, the character Apollo dies. No, he was in two episodes of regular show. Yeah, Apollo. He, oh, Apollo. Um, it's fine. Carl Weathers. He played Chubbs and, and Adam Sandler. Little film. Nicky. No. Yeah, he played Chubbs and Little Nicky. He played Chubbs and Happy Gilmore. Yeah, I know. He, was, he was also, also in. The, he had a cameo, a cameo yeah. Little Nicky. Yes, we get it. What do you know most for uh, Apollo Creed or Chubbs? Apollo Creed. Okay. Apollo or, Creed. or Dylan. No. No. Yeah, it's a good career. I don't, and I, and you know, most most recently, the you know younger fans are known from the Mandalorian that they're into that stuff. But we aren't though. No, we are. I am. I don't know. About You're you. still into it. We've discussed this so many times of how bad it is. I am. I'm just. I'm just saying. Look, that's why you like our show. You like bad things. Rest in peace to the great Call Weathers. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't know where we go from here. How we start the show off from here. We got Welcome. A, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's. I mean, you know, the news happens as, wow, that's that's shocking. 
you know, and not like it's like. Uh, so in two weeks, when you hear this, <laughs> <laughs> prepare to be sad. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> somebody's not gonna know and be like, "Oh, <laughs> like, you can say what? again." <laughs> what happened? They brought him back to life. Oh no! I mean, this is this. Is, I mean, dating the, the carbon dating the show is something that I don't want to do. But we are, everybody knows now. It's not a kept secret that we try to keep it ahead. Um, um, but well, it's not like we re- record something and then release it right away. You know, it's. We, 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 it takes time to edit it and to go through the whole processing and the maturation of the video and, and we have to put everything together. Let it together. mature. Mm-hmm. But yeah. We got to let it rise. It's like a fine Twinkie. Yeah. 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 Filled with all kind of artificial junk. MSG. <sighs> yeah. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. So. Well, what are we talking about today? We're talking. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're talking about today. Lead us today. No, no, no. We, we are we are in the midst of of going over um, our movies that we like. Now, the thing about this is that I don't know where you know my head is uh, at the particular. Oh, jeez. In in this in this moment, you try to summon up the strength, and you got to go out there. You gotta. You gotta perform. You gotta perform. I'm feeling better than last week. You gotta perform. And ever gotta, since, ever since the whole prey incident, you gotta, you gotta perform. You gotta I've moved do, on. You gotta. We have to do it, and we have to put these things behind us. And just as a uh, Apollo Creed would want us to do, we have to do it well. And we gotta go out there, and you know, we gotta take him down. We gotta take Mr. T down. Okay. Yeah. Clubber Lang. Sometimes, sometimes the world is Mr. T and tries to beat us down. It is, and, and okay. sometimes we die, and then sometimes, and sometimes our friends come back and beat him up next time. And and you know we run on the beach in crop tops and the shorter shorts ever. Actually, yeah, we uh, should recreate that. That would be that would be hilarious. But first of all, we have to start. Oh man, don't cry. It's okay. I mean, hold you. Hearts on fire, strong desire. Okay. All right. Welcome to all the bacon and eggs. Uh, I am uh, your host, MMB, along with my co host. Be well. Okay. M and B and be well. <laughs> we are coming to you from the Leo Pope Studios in beautiful, opulent, obscenely gorgeous, substantially oh gosh, Anderson, <laughs> substantially <laughs> succulent. That's what I was going for. Yeah, I, yep, yep. It yep. Continues two weeks in a row. It continues um, three weeks in a row. I don't know. But it, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's good to discontinue. Who knows? I mean, it's it's, it's good to discontinue. It's March first, two thousand twenty-three. We'll, so we will fall up the stairs somehow. Doesn't matter. Right. Uh, so that hurts. You hit your shins. <laughs> yeah. The shins. Yeah. So um, we have, you know, obviously been working on our little podcast here and doing other little things. this thing is huge it's, have you seen the numbers since we released our prey uh it's amassing some some viewerships now again wherever you're listening to this show yeah. where whether the yeah. country don't say nothing about our friends over in a particular country that you always bash the last few episodes well, for whatever reason most post offices and and <laughs> wherever you're listening if you could do, if you'd like anything that we say, something. <laughs> Listen for a couple hours if and you, find one thing. If you like, dare if, you. if you'd like the way we say the, and you know, it's just the, the <laughs> if you like that, then like us and leave a comment. Like us liking. Oh, and there he is. He dresses Apollo. Oh, Man. gosh. You know, I miss him already. And, uh, you know, leave a subscribe. <laughs> Is there, they already going to take into Twitter. Yeah, I'm already. I'm going to post this on ours right now. And we we are, you know, we appreciate it. Thank you for all those who listen, who's with us, who's mm-hmm. been with us, who's going to be with <clears throat> us. We 
are on the road to 100 subscribers on YouTube. That sounds very cheap and low. It's I know. not, though. You got to start somewhere. You got to, exactly. So, a ro- on a road to 100, please help us get there. It would be amazing. And rest in peace, Carl Weathers. Anyway, we are in this like area, this space, right? So last time, um, I don't know, one of the times we talked about it, we were we were talking about what it's like to be disappointed because of the episode that was lost. I've never been disappointed. Yeah, you were disappointed. Never. Did we talk about being disappointed? People really like that. Oh, that, that one? Yeah, I got to post the one I made of me, but... Yeah, which one? Which, they really which like one? that. <clears throat> if you go to Instagram right now and you type in all the bacon and eggs, you'll come up and you'll see a brand new, the one and only video that I've posted. <laughs> <clears throat> I actually run social media for various companies, and so this is a last priority for me, um, and so I forget a lot. Wow. Apologize to all of the financial backers who are supporting us ever so graciously. Oh, my goodness. I, you know, hearing that, it, uh, and it, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise <laughs> me. So it's okay. It's all right. But I <laughs> vow to post at least once in the next month. Okay. So, and we're on Discord. So, if anybody knows how to do Discord, help us. Um, we're calling out and, you know, reach us at the 72 ENT group.com. There's a website that you can go to. You can check us out or leave a comment on YouTube and be like, hey, we can, I know how to do that. You guys don't know how to do Discord. What's wrong with you? And we're going to say, hey, we don't. Please help us if you're going to be nice. That's what we'll say. Something like that. I don't understand this comment. What does it say? Where's the f- where's the not funny N word that was here? Hmm. Wait, what? <laughs> That's what it says on that video. I don't know who. I don't know why. Don't understand. Smurf says Robo MMB. I put hearts, and then somebody says, where's the not very funny N-word that was here? What does that mean? I mean, <clears throat> I don't think you're an N-word, but I, I also agree that you're not very funny. <laughs> so Wait, that has comments like should that? Should I heart that? No. I, I, I might agree. Hold on, let me just reply. you got to keep talking. I keep... Uh, now, now uh, that's weird. Uh, I'm just going to put what N-word there. What N-word. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe nachos or yeah, that's, nicotine. Or... That's weird. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I left it up because, uh, you know, the more comments help the algorithm. <laughs> so, you know, when you put yourself out there, guy, you're going to get all sorts of comments. So you can't be upset. People are dumb. Yeah, you're right. You got to just take it and you got to roll. You got to roll with the punches. You got to roll with the stupidity sometimes. <laughs> you know. Well, I'm big, I'm reaching somewhere. <laughs> we, we we How do they know you're black? I've never even said that. That's crazy. But anyway, you move, you move on, and you 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 go through life. Oh uh, yeah, that's crazy. So 70, speaking, speaking. Yeah, go to, of, go, so go to seventy two Entertainment Group on YouTube as well. Make sure you subscribe. Well, I think a few episodes ago you said we were close to a hundred subscribers. We're currently at fifty six. No, so. I said we're on the road to hundred. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, we're getting really close to fifty seven. We're on the road. <laughs> To a hundred, we're right there. That's the that's the goal. That's the goal. So we got to start somewhere, like you said. I mean, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to the, see the number exactly. Oh, we had a thousand thousand views. Thank yeah. you, Smurf, for illegally doing that again. 
no, there's nothing that legal. Oh, Ooh. totally. Because the rest of them are like 43 and 24 views on YouTube. So a thousand. Now I'm thinking that you left that comment. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean yeah. that, the way you're okay. going through the channel. No, the I, here, <laughs> here is a comment I left. I left a comment that just says dummies. <laughs> That's my kind of commenting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I probably will leave that comment from now on on everything. You should. We should get shirts that say that. <laughs> I don't even know what it means. So stupid. <laughs> you know. But again, when we are huge, huge, you are going to get that a lot more. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. See, and that's the one thing that I thought about. Like, hey, when you put yourself out there. And you start reaching the masses. Mm-hmm. It's just like, hey, people are going to say dumb stuff. Yeah, to rattle you. Yeah, and how how are you going to deal with it? And now, now that I'm armed with this one saying, it's like, what are you going to do when you are when you're in a position? What are you going to do? You're going to cry about I think, it. I think people get a little bit jealous, you know, of your good looks. Eh, maybe. You know, maybe if I mean, if I was, I don't know. They they haven't seen your feet yet, so. No. Wait till they see your feet. They're, yeah, they're like predator mangled feet. Um, yeah, what was up with the feet and the hands, though? They looked weird in, in prey, right? I mean, that's just, I think that's how predators are. They looked really weird, though. Like, like why? It wasn't like cool weird. It was like, they looked like gloves that were inflated. Do you, like almost clown hands. Would you give a predator a foot massage? No. No? No. What Sorry. if he was like, I'll give you $1 trillion? Mm, no, for one trillion dollars. One trillion dollars. Yeah, I give him a predator foot massage. Yeah. Mm, no. What, are you serious? No. I mean, no, nothing weird about that. It's just, hey, my feet hurt. I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming home. I was hunting. <laughs> oh no, no. no was, that was a lot it's more. A, it's, a, it's a female no, predator. No, no, no. That was a lot more involved. <laughs> <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are roommates. Exactly. <laughs> I'm coming home. <laughs> no. Hey, MMB, I'm, I'm headed home. Get the lotion. <laughs> no, thank you. No, 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 no. no. These fetuses rubbed. You no, know, I mean, no, 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 no. We have, we have to talk about this discuss that. We have to have some NDAs and all that stuff. It's, I mean, I'm not going to speak too much on this because an NDA, but this say, look, if you're going to do an NDA, a non disclosure agreement. Yeah. Make sure you pay. Make sure you finish paying so you don't get your business put out in the street. Like yeah, you don't a want, certain You don't want any uh, crap on your face. Head of the a wrestling company did. What is going why would you do that? I mean, I'm not gonna comment on it anymore because it's disgusting, whatever. You can read yeah. it out. Um it, will but, you? Well, so why would you do that? Will you do anything? Like, will you boycott wrestling, or will you? No, 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 no. So it's not. It's not that disgusting. This, see, this is the thing. Because I boycott in wrestling. This is the thing. Why would you boycott the product of somebody when they weren't doing that? In first of all, the last few years of the show, pretty much I boycotted because it was terrible. Okay. He's no longer in charge, and it got good. So I'll watch. I've slowly been watching it again. The allegations come out. He has nothing. That has nothing to do with the 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 sport. Just like when the Chris Benoit tragedies happened, did you stop then? <clears throat> well, because when he, when he, oh, okay, so because an individual does something, but it right? doesn't have anything to do with the sport now. But it did back then because there was there was allegations of like some of the referees that were in the sport. I don't know about there that. Was I didn't a, hear there about was an um, allegation of what's the uh, the one wrestler. So um, he was invited to go with him and he got too drunk. And so luckily he got too drunk and went home and forgot, but he was actually invited and he was no, on his way. There, there are horrendous things that are, that are implied in this thing, right? People are complicit at the time. Maybe not. Don't know. But when you do a disclosure and you say, Hey, I'm going to pay you this amount. Don't mention anything. You're not legally binded not to say, okay, that is what it is. But when you stop payment. Well, I don't know why that. That's stupid. He must have had like his debit card stolen and it stopped. How does that happen? Whatever he did. And and 
the fact of the matter is now it makes sense why the show sucked so much was because he wasn't paying attention to that. He was more worried about this stuff. And you think this is the only incident though? He's probably has no dozen other no, incidents. That but, are- but when you talk about the genesis and the beginning of, of, of sports entertainment as it's coined, as it been coined by him and his company, it's, Comes from CD beginnings anyway. There's a yeah. whole bunch of stuff, steroids, yeah, people getting away with murder, and um, you know, and allegedly people, it's multiple cases right. of of abuse to women and things like that, and you know, you go out there, and it, can you separate the art from the people? That's if so you hard. knew how certain, if you knew how, you know, like, can you listen? Tr- can you listen to R. Kelly? Can I? Yeah, you can listen to him. No, like, can you listen to him? Like, does it does it affect you? I didn't listen to him to begin with. Okay, so it wasn't anything like, oh my god, I'm missing out. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just like, and 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 if a certain certain individual. Um, does something her- horrendous or heinous, and it's like this is. I mean, let's keep it in the same arena. You know, Chris Benoit. He well known that he murdered his young son and his wife, and then killed himself. Right. Right. Can you now not watch any of the matches that he did before? And say, can you say, oh, because right now, to be honest with you, if I watch any of his stuff, he's he's there, but it's just not like, oh, I got to say anything. Yeah. I can't say anything like, I, but, I don't have anything but, good to say about it. Yeah, but you wouldn't. Because all I could see is, is the murder. And you wouldn't, yeah, I mean, you definitely wouldn't be wearing a shirt. You no, know, no, like, no, 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 no. And, and, and. That's the thing. I'm like, if you if you can wear somebody's shirt, I think that's the line. Like, ain't nobody gonna go out wearing an R. Kelly shirt. People will still wear Michael Jackson shirts, you know, and and people still wear Michael. I mean, yeah. still people still. I uh, guess people still wear OJ Simpson jerseys. <laughs> I, that I have not seen. Actually. I watched. I watched one the um, the other day. I actually saw, I saw a picture of a Bills fan that had his number in a Bills jersey, and then on the back where his name was, it said allegedly. <laughs> and I was like, oh man, that's creative, but terrible. <laughs> you know, the thing about it is. So we have we have we have um, our guitar player, okay, is playing in a band called uh, Austrian Death Machine. Okay, the vocalist of that band that's his side project. Austrian Death Machine is all about like Arnold Schwarzenegger and like they play incredibly talented, really fast music. His main band is Azalea Dying. Azalea Dying is probably one of the biggest metalcore acts of all time. And, you know, can pull in, you know, at their heyday was playing, you know, huge festivals, 50,000 can pull in by themselves, you know, like 10, 20,000 people by themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, it came out uh, and he was he was going through some stuff, you know, like 15, 15 or so years ago, um, doing a bunch of roids, um, going through a bunch of stuff. And he hired a undercover cop to try to kill his wife. And so. He went to jail. Luckily, he hired an undercover cop, you know, and it didn't happen. But he went to jail for for a bunch of years, and he's been out probably for five five years or so now. Um, so it's like one of those things where it's like, you know, now he's in the scene again. Um, our guitar player plays in a band with him, um, and he's come out is very remorseful, and it seems heartfelt and stuff. And it's like, okay, do you do you as an audience like do I forgive him? Do I still listen to his music? Do I support him? Um, and for me, it's like, yeah, like I, I've talked to my guitar player and he's remorseful. He's going through some stuff and made a very bad decision. Thank God he didn't go for go through it. But it's, it's kind of like a situation like that. It's like some people will never listen to his music ever again. And rightfully so, you know, but I think there's a lot more that goes into some of these decisions that people make. You know, Chris Benoit did a terrible thing. Terrible, terrible, terrible thing. Mm-hmm. And in I think about that all the time. Like, 
I could have been in one of those situations where something happened to me, you know, like even just a stupid breakup, you mm-hmm. know, where I'm like, I want to kill myself. Mm-hmm. And I could have killed myself, you know, mm-hmm. uh, several times in, in the mm-hmm. last like 20 years. You know, mm-hmm. I, I thought about it. And, but I, I didn't, I didn't go that extra step that a lot of these people, you know, take. Um, so it's like, I can kind of, I don't know what the word is, empathize, sympathize, or whichever the word is. It's like, I, I've been almost to the edge, you know, but I, I thankfully didn't cross it. And, but yeah. these people did, you know? Yeah. And, and you go on and you think about that because when you say, if people are going to defend their their reasoning, and you, it, do you really need to? I mean, like, look, I I enjoy watching wrestling. After that happened, yeah, you look at things differently, and you know, and people are so quick to just judge anybody. If you oh you like that, then you're such and such and such. It's to each on their own. Everybody's in as a unique individual. It was like you might have some similarities and some similar interests, but you have to really understand that you, you people go through their own things and how they process stuff. Yeah. And 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 to belittle or make their opinions invalid, it's not fair. It's not right. And you wouldn't want that. And and I mean it's not a popularity contest. It's it's life. Yeah. And there's so many different ways to live life and be happy. Be happy. Do things that make you happy. As long as you're not harming anybody else, be, do things that make you happy. I mean, that's kind of the thing. So when you, the guy comes out and he's done his time, okay, it's remorseful. I mean, he's not out there saying, oh, I'm so happy, I, I'll do it again. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not, you know, it's not that kind of thing. But what if he was? If you saying I was doing to do I was doing to do it again, then yeah, I don't think he would be playing shows anymore. I don't think anybody, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah obviously, obviously. Yeah. But you, so, and this is another thing, and, was, then, and and there's degrees too, where it's like, yes, it's like you mess with kids and you're yes. you're you're done, you yeah. know, like yeah. or or you do the Jeffrey Epstein stuff, and yes, yeah. 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 Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, you know I mean, it, fortunately, this guy got caught j- before he had happened. It, it can, I mean, if, yeah, if he, if he, if he legitimately like if it went through it, yeah. then yeah, there's no, he's he's done. Like that's it. You did, know? Did you stop eating Subway when you found out the horrendous stuff that Jared was doing? Gosh, that was bad. Um, that was pretty bad. Yeah, I. I actually probably did for a couple of weeks, you know, like yeah, I'm going to take, I'm going to take a stand, you know, like I, cause, cause I, I honestly like it, it did impact me where I would, I would drive by subway and that would be the first thing I would think about. And you know, over time I'll yeah. see that fades. Um, cause I went to subway a couple of days ago, but at first, yeah, you know, like I yeah. was like, I'm, I'm going to stand to this, you know, stick to it. And like all things, you know, time, I guess heals or whatever, you know, it, but it, it, it so I stopped going to Subway and I started going back again and then I stopped going again but with nothing to do with that. It was just the poor yeah. customer service that I was receiving at these restaurants. Most of the time it's bad, yeah. Yeah, so I just, I'm like, I'm done. Except done. for the one, I went to the one down down the street from you and that was, those guys were great. Uh, those guys were been, awesome. Like, yeah. Uh, you usually get like, I'll, I'll give you a chance. I, I almost I'll left multiple with chance. Like two new best friends. So, I, it it is, it is a shame that you're a large machine, right? And you are, um, you have a cog mm-hmm. that's faulty. Yeah. Well, now the whole machine is. They out. put all their eggs in one basket, though. It's like you know, you you, you and now and now the machine is as now, now seen as it's it's you're it's done. Yeah. You, know, you got to throw it out. And all the, you would think about all the time and effort that it took to get to this where you are, and it's just like man. And that's the thing about public image and and and, and going out into public and being out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, does that that comment that you read bum me out? Of course. Is it something that I have to sit there and dwell on? No, I don't. You know, uh, it's 
one of those things that comes like that comes with the territory, I guess. Yeah. And when you put yourself out there, like you you've been putting yourself out there for years, and 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 you've been doing it, and that and that's one of the things that I admire about you, the ability to do that. Yeah. And it, it and, sometimes and you there. can't you can't let it you can't let it get to you, obviously, but you it is harder to shake certain certain things, but it's like. What, what 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 like this person like what are we gonna do yeah you know like if you if you come on here and bash then you're probably playing to the stereotype that he might only know exactly you know? so it's like hey guy you know I I I would like to talk to you more like if you want to talk to us message us you know instead of just throwing stuff out there like that but yeah and it was and it's things like that where you go and you're like okay so you have a show you have something and you have people that are going to like you said they'll never listen to that guy's music again right they'll never watch wrestling again they'll never never eat at subway again it right. it, it, it hit them that hard and i get it um it's funny in a way because when you are are in the society that we're in it's it's easy or like we want to see people build, we want to build people up and then we want to tear them down. And the tear down seems more satisfying to some people. Yeah. I, I, and, you know, I always say too, it's, it's much easier to um, like hate. It's so much easier to hate than to Ew. actually love on somebody. Like it's so easy to hate on somebody or hate, hate. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I have yeah. to work very hard to, yeah love and be kind and be joyful. Like it's so much easier just to be Eeyore and just, go through just everything is stupid. You know, like that's my character. That is, that's, a, that's my true personality. Is, and it's funny you say that because I used to have my job before there was a, me and another coworker. That's serious. There were two managers. No, no. Oh. And there were managers and we, and, one they called him Tigger, and they called me Eeyore. Uh-huh. And I hated it. Even to this day, if they bring that up, I get mad. But again, again, what can you do? If it's what it is, like you, you happily admit that that's your Eeyore. I not, I don't even know what that mean, what that meant, because I didn't watch Winnie the Pooh like that. Uh, and so you only watched Blood and Honey, <laughs> but. I got what they were saying, and it wasn't it wasn't terrible. It yeah. was said in a way. It was said in jest. It wasn't like that. But you know, you, you you take yourself too serious sometimes, and then you 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 will have issues. So. Yeah, you're, you're, I think the the more popular we become, if we ever become more popular, the more hate you're going to get, and that's probably a good sign that we're becoming more popular. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm going to turn into a rage beast, and then just, <laughs> just have to bleep out everything. Just, just, <laughs> your mother, no, yeah, like, oh, oh my god. god, just you know. Yeah. You know, speaking of um, Subway, I think that that kind of leads into the next movie we watched. A Subway. Mm-hmm. How does Subway well, lead into the next? What's movie? his name, Jared? How does that even work? Okay, well, let's get to the movie review, no, no, and I will show you. No. It it works really well. No, it does not. Yeah. No. All right. <sighs> this movie review is brought to you by 72 Entertainment Group, 72entgroup.com, and if you're looking for band merchandise of the heavier sorts, visit 72entgroup.com slash take, where you'll find stupid mugs, puzzles, Magnets, 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 which I couldn't find. Magnets are there. I couldn't find them. Stickers, stickers, I couldn't find on there either. Their stickers are there. Nope, not you on see, there either. You could see them on. You could see them on. For obviously, you are ruining my read here. I am reading this off the top of my head, but they're there. I didn't see them. Go check them out. Okay, try to find them, and then if you find them on there, let me know. Buy them. Um, it's so look. We are we're, we're reviewing. Let the right one in. Thank you for that read. It was beautiful. Uh-huh. Um, Anytime. And, 
I mean, I'm, I because I, I usually do it and I fumble around through I it. Try to do the, uh, the NPR voice yeah. on Parks and Rec. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That was that so, so great. That was so, so great. funny when they did the mashup of the music. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just a bunch of like jazz, whatever just playing at the same time, going on at the same time. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait, quick side note: I watched a clip of this movie on Netflix with the greatest night in pop. Okay. Okay. It'll be the when they did the "We Are the World" song. Oh boy! When they got all those magicians. To, uh, mm. Magicians. I'm going to see a magician tonight. Yeah, <laughs> musicians. <laughs> it was magicians to sing for us. All the warlocks and wizards. I think I'm going to see David Copperfield tonight. Oh wow! All yeah, right. I got got to give us a review. I will. Um, I will. But, but did you know that Waylon Jennings was in that session? No. So. Apparently, they were, they were writing a movie the, during the thing, it was this last minute thing, blah, blah, blah. Frantic something, something, rather or not. But you get all these people together and they start to come up with ideas if it's not focused. Right. So one of them wanted to start doing something in Swahili. <laughs> and, and a comment was like, Waylon Jennings is like, no good old boys ever sang Swahili. And he just <laughs> left and he was done. <laughs> Because I was like, because I grew up with We Are the World. It was in the eighties, right? And I remember the video, and I'm like, I don't remember seeing him there. Who was this dude? I'm looking him up because I fr- I'm just getting reacquainted. Just a good old boy. That's right. He Never a, meaning no harm. You know what his son's name is? Shooter. Oh, one of his sons. Oh, I'm thinking of I'm, I'm thinking of Hank Williams Jr. I'm about to say Hank Williams Jr. Jr. No, no. Uh, um, but no, it was it was interesting. That that's a whole other thing. We might want to watch that and, and and talk about that later. But anyway, okay. let the right one in. Did you watch the the foreign one or the new one? No, no, no. Let that's let me in is the new one. That's oh. the remake. I watched the foreign. one. Okay, the good. That's one I watched too. Yes, please. Yeah. I was hoping you did that. And it was like Russian or something. No. What is it? Dutch. Dutch. Are you sure? Because yes. they were talking about some Russian stuff. No. We were talking about Russian stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she went to like a, he, he had mentioned Russia in like one of the conversations. Maybe in passing. They also had Smurfs on the thing. So, do they? I mean. I hope you watched their same movie. Excuse me. Yeah. We watched, uh, there was Oscar. Yeah. Oscar. And Ellie. Oscar. Our, 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 Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yes. Yeah, then we watched the same movie with and, and Ellie. Okay, cool. So <laughs> this is the movie that you have not seen. Yep. And I've seen it before, just like the opposite of Prey. When you seen Prey, I did not. Anyway. Yep. Anyway, let's go. Let's go to our movie. Review brought to you by 72entgroup.com. It starts off with a boy in his underwear and with a knife. And I'm like, what's going on? Um, when I first saw this movie, I was like, okay, this is weird. And he's saying squeal uh, like a pig alone in his room. And I'm like, what is going on? Um, Again, uh, this is my movie review where I just read the lines. I wrote it down. So, new neighbor covering windows. All right? Uh, Oscar is a loser. Maybe. I don't know. Neighbor cleaning weird equipment. Mm-hmm. Sitting there. And this is all in the beginning. Uh <laughs> And then I had to go back because I don't re- I I don't remember the scene. I, it's been years since I've seen the movie. So as he's cleaning the equipment, he's doing this because he's got to get people for some reason. You think he's? A, I thought he's a serial killer. I thought he was exactly. <laughs> yeah. You think that he's a serial killer, but but when I guess he kind of is. That initial the way that the way that it was shot, it was it looked cool, but it was too far away. I couldn't tell who was who was doing that or or what. 
to me, it seemed like the guy that was walking by was the old man or the man. Oh, that, yeah. You know I what I mean? The old man got kidnapped. Yeah. It, it, yes. So I was like, wait, what is going on? So turns out it was that wasn't the case. The old man uses this equipment and now it turns out the old man is kidnapping people and draining the blood in yes. the middle of a very busy and park. It, what, what is like, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. It was like there's cars driving by in the background. <laughs> I was like, wait, the what are you lady doing? Lady walking her dog and this dude just draining blood. <laughs> it's just like not inconspicuous. The dude is upside down. Like I it, thought I thought for sure I was like, this is this is this the first time he's killed somebody? Like he's really bad at this. It was so bad. Yeah. And so he's doing this, and now you kind of find out that he's bad at this. And 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 I and, I don't know why. And I can and I and I think I have a, an explanation okay. to why it might be. So okay, as we go on, Oscar is now talking to a tree. A right. girl shows up, right? And she's standing on top of the jungle gym. And she is not cold. Not cold at all. Barefoot. It's snowing. This is in I don't know, Sweden. I don't know Sweden. Yeah, I think but, it was Sweden right now. And uh, saying, and she says this. You. Um, we can't be friends. Right. Don't, don't, we can't be friends. And he's like, what? Knowing that when you say that to a young child, that's the opposite is what the, is what's going to happen. They're going right. to want to. They're going to be friends. They're going to want to be friends. So Oscar goes looking for. I thought, I thought she was a figment for uh, like. Of first. his imagination. It was kind of weird because then didn't she just jump off the jungle gym like nothing? And it was just like, what's going on? Yeah. And, and I was like. She, She's not wearing like I thought. Maybe it was like a sister, like from the that yeah. died, or like a friend that died. Yes, yeah. yes. Obviously, then the girl's in pain, and she, because apparently the guy that was doing this draining was for her. Yeah. All right. She. I think I was like, man, she must need like blood transfusions, like S- something. Like it's better ways to do this, but anyway, much better ways. <laughs> we go to. She's under a bridge pretending to be hurt. Yeah. And the guy comes up to her and she just jumps on him. Right. And and then you know. And you know this little girl is a vampire. Right. And and I think she attacks him because she didn't get the blood from the Exactly. Other guy? Okay. She yeah. attacks him because she has to because she now realizes he's an idiot. I got to go on this dude's my own. Yeah. But my whole thing about that is you could do this yourself. Obviously, you could out. You're stronger and more powerful than anybody. Even though you're in the body of a 12-year-old girl, yeah, you could do this yourself. Why send this guy out and bumbling around? And also, after you attack somebody, you hide the body under... An inch of snow. <laughs> if you want to use the guy, you use the guy to help take care of the bodies mm-hmm. after you have attacked them. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> the cat man saw that guy, like guy from his window. Yeah, he saw, he saw the dude being murdered. She, he saw this little girl jump on him yeah. and attack. He saw everything. Yeah. So and I'm like, okay, all right. So he... Uh, Oscar is has a Rubik's cube because he now, the, but the whole, and the whole time too though Oscar is being bullied. At the uh, Oscar is being bullied yeah. at the and and this is an interesting theory. So Oscar's parents are no longer together. There's a mom right. and him. He's being bullied at school. He's seen as like a loser. He's being picked on. It's not really cool. I don't know, but it 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 was. Did the did the the fact that his dad, because we find in a later scene a kind of suggestive thing going on at his dad's house, is it did they are they bullying him because of that, or I what it doesn't really say why they're bullying him. It and doesn't that, and right. That, and that later scene really confused me. I don't, we can get to that later. Yeah. So anyway, I, I honestly I don't know why they're. I think they're just bullying him because they found a kid who's not going to fight back. Yes, that's that's what I thought. I wasn't sure the but the he, origin story of but that. But obviously, he's he's 
He's a weaker. Well, his haircut too. <laughs> Gosh, I I almost didn't want to watch the movie because his haircut is so bad. It's so bad, dude. <laughs> yes, you're right. I forgot about that. I mean, I don't know why bullying is bad, but y- you <laughs> that you haircut, it. man, you're sticking out. Like, hey, bully me, please. Oh God. Anyway, <sighs> all right, Oscar. He, so he's being bullied. He comes home. <laughs> He's now has a Rubik's Cube, and he's kind of waiting for the girl. Yeah. Waiting for her to show up. Right. And, of course, she shows up. Yeah, oh, yeah. She's like so a, she wants friends. She she wants to be his friend. And, you know, we have a theory back in, you know, cause of course, Smurf watched it, and we had, I have her notes. I told her at the end. But he gives her the Rubik's Cube, and they... Leave. He doesn't come. know she's a vampire. He has no idea who this girl is. She doesn't say anything. She just thinks she's a, a girl. But anyway, the next morning he comes home, or he comes, he goes out to go to school, and then Rubik's Cube is there on the park, on, on the park bench, and in front of their apartment. It's like a little play area in front of the apartment, mm-hmm. and they, it's she's she solved it right, and so he's all happy. He's like, you know, we're. We have a yeah, relationship that's, or whatever. That is so dumb that she played dumb on how to solve that. She's been around for a long time. But it's a lot of that that goes on. Like, is she is she a kid or is she what no what is going on? No, she's she's and see, and that's what plays later. Yeah. Okay. So Ellie is waiting for Oscar outside, and Oscar is happy to have a friend, apparently. You know, it's obviously. Um three boys. And some weird assault on Oscar. Um, and what did I say? E- oh, Ellie. Tell. Oh yeah, they did. They they. What did they do to him that that time? They make him. They hit him with like the stick. Yes. Yeah. And, and you could tell like the the bullies, the main bullies, friends like don't really want to do it, no. but he kind of has them under a spell, and so they hit him with like a. Uh, switch. Yes, it's like a switch. Yes, yes, like, yes. Go out and get me that switch. <laughs> it's like really weird. Like yeah. why? Well, anyway, Ellie tells Oscar to hit back, mm-hmm. and she will help him if hit, they hit as hard as you can. And and she will help them if they come back. Right. She says this, and she will hit harder. So, mm-hmm. Oscar um, tells Ellie that he likes her a lot. Like, mm-hmm. and she's like. You can't Oscar, like me. You can't like me. She has never, she has not lied to him throughout this whole thing. No, and she's like, will you, will you still like me if I'm not a girl? Yes. She says, if you like me if I'm not a girl. Yeah. She says. Um, he says yes. Yeah. And, well, okay, Ellie helps, asked if she could um, not go. Oops, sorry. Did I break she it? She has oh. to, no. She has to. Be invited in. Yeah, that's a vampire thing. Yes. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, she can fly. Oscar's not realizing that she is falling. Oh, Ellie helps and asks if she can, and she could not go. And Oscar, for not realizing that, she is falling for him. Right. Okay. She's falling for him, too. Obviously, yeah. they're they're having. Well, they have, and they uh, are. We at the scene where she like goes into the. Oh, the, Ellie's helper. So this is the thing. Ellie's helper, the guy that was bumbling the draining earlier, mm-hmm. is he's like, can you please not go see the the boy tonight? Right. She know he knows that she's falling for him. Right. And that she's that they are friends, and he's. My thought process on that was that, well, and, I, and I'm I'm gonna I'm save it to the end. Do you know Do you know the true story of that? No. Okay. I'm gonna save it. Th- I know the I know the story of this. So I'm gonna say that. Oh, you yeah. do. Oh, you yeah. looked it up. I looked it up. Oh, yeah. nice. Okay. Yeah. Um. So they are now. Um. Did she? Did she? Have you gotten to the point where she like flew up to his window, and that's where you said can can she come in? No. No. Cause I no, thought, no, no. I thought this, that was after she attacked the guy, though. No, no, no. That was after she, the helper. So the helper goes out again, and oh. he bumbles another, 
another drainage. Yeah, he tries. He gets caught. He goes to a crowded school. He gets caught doing dumb stuff. Doesn't now, le- doesn't take the kid out of the school. Just leaves the kid there. Just leaves tied him up. there. So now he's like, doesn't it. duct tape his mouth. And so now he's just like, forget it. I, you know what, Ellie for Ellie, whatever. And he pours acid on his face. And then he looks like Two Face. And he does look like Two Face yeah. from the new the Batman Return, the Dark Knight. Dark Knight, yeah, the Dark Knight. It looks like Two Face. And I was like, all right, I get it. So now... Ellie's kind of sad. Ellie is kind of sad. Sort of, but she... Sort of. She drinks his blood. She goes to the... She goes up to the place barefoot yeah. in freezing snow. Yeah. And they're like, oh, my dad, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh, we got to get you ID. She's like, no, nah, never mind. And she crawls up the, the, the building. No, she flies. No, she crawls up. She you said can she her. could fly. She tells him she could fly. No, she, no, she does say that, but she she crawls up. You see her craw- Spider Man crawling. Up really? Oh, I miss, totally missed that. Yeah, 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 she's crawling up the thing, and because um, when a nurse comes out to check to find her, you can see stops, and then when the nurse turns around, you can see her crawl up. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she goes up to the room. She finds him. He undoes his ventilator because obviously his he's all messed up, yeah. deformed. You don't really see like okay, he's not that bad, but then you see his face. It's like oh, Other side. oh my god, yeah. He he leans in or leans out of the window, so she could just have at him. He she drinks him, uh, his blood drains him, lets him fall out the boom boom just hit done his, hit his head so hard <laughs> just it was so loud, and I'm like what is going on? But she then she goes to Oscars, yeah. That's what she goes to Oscars and she's and she has uh she says let can you let me in uh, let me in he's like oh let you in. he's sleeping and he and you know and I I don't know if um that's gonna be let in that's just me going back to my notes um and she asks him not to look as she undresses and gets in the bed with him right nothing that you know they're 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 kids and Oscar is of course. Sleeping and come on, whatever. Yeah, let you come in. And he, he says, "You're so cold." And he's like, "She's like, is that? <clears throat> gr- oh, remember the first night? Is like you smell funny, right?" And then she comes back looking more like after she's fed. She comes back looking more like a little girl, right? And she's like, "Do I smell better?" And, and oh, okay. And Oscar now is like. She's like, is it cold? She's like, is it gross? And he's like, no. And then he asks her to go steady. And she's yeah. like, no, I mean, what does, what that, does that mean? mean? Yeah. Like, well, I'm not a girl. Then, but she agrees. Uh, I move forward because that's the, it, it, the scene is that then they go and they hold hands and like she's, she's saying stuff to not be. She's letting him know that she's not a girl and she's not being dishonest with him, and but she's not also giving him the full truth of what's going on. Right. And Oscar is just seeing, you know, a girl and that has I a like crush her. on and, him, yeah. And two and they're their friends and he's lonely and boom. So Oscar gets feel gets bullied at a field trip. Uh he he hits back though. Yeah, he does. He hits back. To the dude <laughs> with the weirdest reaction to it, I was like, uh, uh, "It was so hilarious." And at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, they find a body. They find the body of the man that Ellie first killed. Yeah, and um, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. I don't think that that wasn't the girl, the guy that he, she jumped on. Yeah, no, because they found him in the snow next to the bridge. Oh, you're right. I don't. I honestly, I don't know where this body came from or what it was. I, I don't know. You're right. You're right. No, no, no. It was. It was the. Um, because I remember. I remember him showing like he he sledded the guy's body out there and then threw him in. But I don't know. They never, no. He he came in. Did he do that or she? No, she did it. No, he did it. The guy, his hand, her handler. Yeah. Was pulling the sled. Yeah, and but she killed him. I don't remember them. I don't remember that she, at all. She she attacked that dude, and it wasn't the first guy though. I don't remember who it was. 
that's 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 a good point though. I don't remember, but he was dead. He's he ice, ice cold, yeah, ice cold. Um, he's cold as ice. So he comes back. Oscar hits back, and now he's he's feeling like the man. Yeah, he is he's like man. he's like yeah. So he meets Ellie at a at a restaurant. Gets her to eat some food. She can't eat the food. No. So now she throws it up immediately. Um, then she goes. That would and, suck. That would suck to be a vampire. And then, like, he goes in for the hug, and she's like, "What is going on?" Like, <laughs> but then they go to the to the little hideout for the big kids. Yeah. And they're listening to records. And why would anybody do this? I don't know. But you want to? I'm gonna slice my hand. And we're gonna be blood brothers. Blood, blood brothers. And now we're gonna be. So he slices his hand, reaches it out to her. She looks at it, sees the blood dripping down, she and, getting hungry. and just immediately makes this beats makes a beeline for the blood. Yeah, tells well, him she, to get out. She, but she's she makes a bee, beeline for the blood on the floor. On the floor. Yeah, she, not on his she hand. Doesn't attack him. Yeah, yeah, she does not attack him. She tells him to get out. Um, then she goes and attacks. The girl that was, because the guy's friend, yeah, they're was, at a party. It's, a, it's hard to explain, but. And it's like, oh, my God, you know, he was such a sweet guy. We were friends. And the girl gets upset. And it, it's just side. It's basically just side characters. Side and characters. They have an argument. The girl goes running out. Yes. And Ellie, then she gets Ellie attacked. then attacks the, old, the older girl that was in the argument. And then the guy finds out, because he's, you know, he's right behind her. And he Sees kicks her, her off. Yeah. And Ellie doesn't kill her, we find no. out. Just bites her and she turns She bites her. her. She's not dead. And apparently you, you could do this. And well, of course you can. That's how you turn vampires. That's how you turn people into vampires. And she you know, attacks Gina in public. Dude, I, this part was so dumb. Because yeah. then the, the girl, the lady wakes up and she realizes things are weird. She can't go out into the sun. Hates it. We explore her being a vampire for like... Two seconds, and then she and just, then she lights herself on fire by opening letting, the window. Yeah, letting the guy open yeah. the window. And I'm like, so. I don't understand. It was oh, the cats, the cats hated her. The, the cats attacked her. The yeah, cats right. attacked her oh big my gosh. time. And then they put her in a psych ward. It they happened did. really fast. All of this happened within minutes. It's like yeah. And then the scene that I never noticed before. I seen the movie maybe two times before. Where they go, where Oscar. They had a scene before where Oscar visits his dad. And he's having a great time. And yeah. he's having a good old time, blah, blah, blah. But this time he goes back visiting his dad. Cause and the f- the they're they're there and they're having a good time again. But then some guy just shows up. Yeah. And he's like, and the dad's like, look who's here. You know, like, I'm like, okay. And it just gets really awkward. Like, I didn't understand that at all. And I'm thinking, and my thought process behind that was that the dad left his family. For this guy. And that's why Oscar's being bullied was because of this. It's never I, overtly it, said. So I didn't I didn't get that at all. And I just looked it up and, and it says that he wasn't gay. But it who was that guy? It seemed it seemed like that I, though. I honestly it seemed more to me like that guy was like a mobster making him do something but it doesn't exp- it doesn't explain anything doesn't explain nothing anything. is explained they just drink and then end scene and then oscar hitchhikes what? home what was the point because he, he, he's he's so uncomfortable he hitchhikes home. so they're saying that 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 that's not the case okay cool um whatever i just i never noticed that scene and I, so many things it has it gave me so many questions so Oscar goes now to Ellie's apartment when he gets home. It looked like he hitchhiked. I don't know. He, I was told that he honestly, didn't hitchhike. It looked like he hitchhiked to his father's house too, or got he was like walking up. Yeah, and then and like he was. So, but anyway, he now he's back at his apartment. He goes to Ellie's and she answers the door and she lets him know. She even barricades herself from him. Right. She she goes into another room, closes the door behind her. So, but it's a glass door, so they can still see each other and talk. And she lets him know what she is. She's a vampire. She, is she twelve? She's been twelve for a long time. And and he's like, okay, you know, whatever. Um, 
we are, I'm still cool. And they do like a cool, they have the sweet friend stuff and pans and it's okay. Whatever. Yeah, they were cute. Yeah. And, you know, I, I never, the, the, uh, the mother character, she was so caring about Oscar. She was busy. But she, when she was there, they they had it seemed like they had a good relationship. Yeah, right? I would have liked to build that relationship a little bit more because that was kind of glossed over. You've got the simplified cliff notes of their relationship. So, and then we get to the next scene. The next pivotal scene is when Ellie comes to the house to Oscar's apartment, and she's like, "Can you? You have to invite me in." And he's like, "What if I don't?" And he knows what she is now. And he's being kind of a jerk. And he's like, come on. And like doing this, like, well, come on. See, I thought hand in. motion would. I feel like you're inviting somebody in if you go like make the hand motion. True. And that's what I thought. I was like, oh, that's good enough. And then. No. Stigmata. <laughs> she comes in. She walks. She starts shaking violently. Blood starts coming out of every orifice and her head, top of yeah, her head. Yeah. And he's like, oh, oh, no, no, no. You can come, you can come in. in. Come in. And he gives her a hug. And you know he gives her. And her face is looking freaky from all the blood. And it everything. was. I was like, I, I want out. It was. It was bad. <laughs> it was bad. So they they are now st- in the house. Um. Oh, was this scene after? No, no. Wait, wait. After what? What was the scene where Oscar? Oh, no, that same scene where they're doing the hand gestures. She says, I can give you money to do stuff if you want it. You don't have to go yeah. and do whatever. And she shows him this valuable, all these valuables that she has, um, like some some weird egg with a gold ball in it. All right, cool. Yeah. And then that, then we, go, we come to this scene, and they're listening to music, and they're having a good time. Um, Oscar's mom comes in and Ellie jumps out the window and, and now Oscar um, is <sighs> what did he do? He got in trouble at school. Wait, what you you skip the whole you skip the whole changing of the clothes oh when she goes in he gives her a dress he tells him he says my mom has a dress you can go put on and she just goes rummaging through the mom's closet i guess and finds something and then she's taking her clothes off and he's and he's being a perv i, I do have that line a perv and um he opens the door as she's changing and he looks and the camera looks right at this crotch and at first, I'm like, is this, what is that? It's not a girl. Or what are we supposed to mean? What is it supposed to mean? Yeah. So, and I'm like, all right. And it, they cut they cut away from it. And my th- initial thought was, that's not a girl. It was, it's, it's, but it is a girl. But now I'm just like, maybe it's just, it's just. I don't, I don't know, like sleep with adversity with wet camp. I don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. So, um, anyway, he looks, still doesn't deter him because she already said that she wasn't a girl, so whatever. And he's like, so what? We're still going steady. Um, and now I, 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 I'm, I'm getting confused. It was a scene where she, he's getting yelled at by his mom for some reason. And... He barricades himself, and that's when you can see the little Smurf figurines and little car doors, and he's, like, giving up on his childish ways because later on when his mom's sleeping, yeah, he goes I'm, into I'm the not room. sure if that was earlier or if that's now. No, it's now because after that, everything goes, jumps in. No. No. I skipped again. Oh, my gosh. After that scene, he goes over there, and now he's sleeping at her house. Yeah. And he's sleeping in his boots. Right. What kind of weirdo sleeps in cowboy boots? That's why the mom was mad because she he slept over at the house. He yeah. slept over at the house and the dude is she and she gets the the dude, the guy's friend who was murdered, 
Gina's boyfriend. Yeah, the girl now that got lit on fire. Now finds out where Ellie lives and walks into the house. Yeah. Sees her in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Pulls back and Oscar screams. Screams and Ellie wakes up. She attacks. And she kills him. Yeah. Attacks him. Then Oscar goes home like nothing happened and his mom yells at him. And mom yells at him and that's when the scene happens and he's like, you know what? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, that's right. everything, all these these toys or whatever. And he sees his mom. But Ellie left. And she leaves. She tells him she has to go. She says, yeah, I got to go. She got to go. Yeah. Can't do it. Can't be here. So she's gone. So she's gone. But he's and and Oscar gets a call that, you know, from his friend. Yeah, come down. Come down. Hang to out do some, or something. Some, do some I, weird I aerobics. Yeah, with some weird weird water aerobics where we see him in the water with weird faces. Doing some weird faces, and the guy's doing some some marching band stuff in the front. Like, what is going on? Yeah. And they're all in little Speedos, and it's really disturbing. And it's just like, I don't know. And then the the bullies light a garbage can on fire outside, (laughs) get the teacher outside. And he runs off. And then the, uh, the bullies' big brother comes in with the other three kids, and they're like, if you can hold your breath underwater it's for three, three minutes. minutes, I won't cut you as bad. If not, I'm going to cut one of your eyes out. So, and so Oscar's being held underwater by the bully's bigger brother. And then all of a sudden, you know, Ellie returns and you see body parts fly in. You see <laughs> the coolest scene in the movie. Yeah. Because you see this dude's feet swim by Oscar and, 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 like they slide by in the water, then it's and then a head just falls in, and he's underwater still holding his breath, and then a hand just fall like the hand that's holding him just falls off. Yeah, and Oscar is reviving. First thing he sees is Ellie. Yeah, there she is. There she is. She told him that she would be there mm-hmm. if they came back to hit. She's gonna hit harder, and she did. Yeah, she murdered everybody except the little crying dude. You know, I was wondering though about the uh, the the other boy though in the white because I don't you didn't see his body. I didn't see his body anywhere in the white. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's over on the on the curb over there with the was head, it? with the head off. His, oh, okay. Head was I didn't I didn't see his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad she didn't kill the little kid on the bench. Yeah, though. he was crying. He was cool. Yeah, he was crying. He didn't he he didn't seem like a threat to her like predator. Right. So, uh, <laughs> Naru. <Not ooh. laughs> so. Um, then we see that they and Owen oh, and they had learned to, to do Morse codes and stuff like that. He taught her. She should know this. Anyway, we know that now he's gone with Ellie. She's in a box on a train, and they're doing Morse code together. That's and at the end of the movie, I'm thinking two lonely people have found each other, and they're going to, you know, live. And then when you think, and the movie ends. All right, cool. It's always a sweet thing to me. Then the movie ends, and I didn't think about it, but then Smurf's like, what happens now? Like, that's a terrible existence. What are they going to do? Yeah. She's, and I'm thinking like, oh, yeah, that's not cool. And then I go into the fact that he's she's like grooming him to be the next helper. Because obviously the helper liked her before. And now Oscar's going to be the new helper in her life. And it's just the cycle that continues. So all of this stuff, when you go back and think about it, it's more psychological that she knows what she's doing. And she is purposely doing, picking lonely people to do this. Yeah. And and being and have them take care of her because she looks like uh, a 12-year-old. But how do you explain two 12 year olds just living on in an apartment together? Yeah. That, you know what I mean? That's that part is going to be a little bit weird, but whatever. <coughs> so that was the part that at the end when I'm thinking like, man, that's kind of crazy. So what is it that that you found? Oh, gosh. OK, so. OK, sorry. She's, to bore you. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm I, I hated this movie. You hated it? Hated it. Absolutely hate it. I I find it disgusting. Um, she's two hundred years old, and she is yeah. She looks like a twelve year old, but she is a sexual predator. She's a groomer. She's disgusting. Oh, um, you went that route. Yeah, she is. Oh. She is. It's it's disgusting. Honestly. Oh wow. Um, I just I felt uncomfortable the entire time. Even oh. even knowing because she kept on saying, "How old are you? How old are you?" And she's like twelve, sort of. And I'm like, "Yeah, she's a lot older than twelve. So I looked it up because there's a book. Um, she's two hundred years old, 
And so she's laying with this dude. She's making out with this 12 year old. Um, they make out? Yeah. They kiss when, when they kiss, when she has the blood all over her face after, after, after she kills the guy in the bathroom, they, they make out. Oh yeah. It is. And so I'm like, dude, this it's not, I don't like how this is sitting. This is gross. Um, then I look more into the book and yeah, the, the handler is a pedophile too in the book, like a big time pedophile. And, um, so that's why he's with her is cause she looks like she's 12 and he wants her so bad and that she'll, he'll do anything for her. And so I'm like, Oh man, there's, oh, that's there's a, even worse. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of, and they don't really touch upon it in the movie because no, in the, in the book, in the book, there's a lot. Like if you read even excerpts, you're like, Oh man, this is crazy. Um, Oh no. But yeah, Ellie, Ellie was a boy who was castrated and, um, yeah. Then over the years, I guess I, I like your theory of like finding a new handler. Um, but yeah, I was just, I was totally creeped out by the fact that she had been alive. It's almost like big where you're like, this is creepy because big is very creepy too. When you think about it, she sleeps with Tom Hanks, who is like, what, like 12 years old, you know, mentally. Um, oh. and she knows that she knows and she still does it. How and does she know? She, I think she knows, she knows like that. He, remember, cause he tells her they're like jumping on the trampoline and they're like having a good time. And, and yeah, I think he, t- I think he explains to her like they swap, they swap bodies. But, but okay. In that, in that instance, I'm not defending her or anything like that. I'm just saying, but in that instance, you see a grown man saying, telling you something It's like, that's impossible. Like that. I don't believe you. You're just, you're just yeah, saying something she still to try to be, you, we're, we're lost in this world yeah. together. We're having fun and we're doing childish things. And now you're just role playing now effectively. You don't know that. This is different. This is this, way you different. See, this, this is different. You yeah. see, that's a that's a it's a twelve year old yeah person. Because I I at first thought it was going to be like like I don't know like those movies where like the the the, the younger kids like they kind of find love and and I'm trying to think of like a movie like that where you know they they kinda, a little ditty about Jack and Diane. <laughs> okay, but then then yeah, you realize like she's a vampire who's been walking this earth for years, so long. So none of this stuff she should she should know all of this stuff. Yeah, and that's why I said it's kind of like Jared. Mm, okay, see that. Okay, got it. I get it. I was not going there. I did not think that you would go there. Now this has a whole new th- that perspective, and that's why I like doing that because perspectives and things like that. I didn't. I didn't watch. I didn't read any of the books when I watched the film. And like I said initially, my thought process was like, okay, two lonely people have found each other because mm-hmm. there's they're essentially twelve twelve year old. Even though she says it, that she's been twelve for a long time. Yeah, right. We already established that. Mm-hmm. I didn't know anything about the helper being a bumbler. I just thought that he was done. And he saw and he thought that, you know, she's found somebody else. I'm going to, it's time for me to just kind of make my way out of this, her life. Yeah. I'm done. I, I think even without the grooming and pedophilia, I wouldn't have liked it. It was just dumb. It was like the guy sucks at killing people. He's, he's been doing this for years. And then like the transitions and the cuts and like just the, the, the when she bites that girl and she becomes a vampire for two seconds and she doesn't like it. The cats yell at her and she lights herself on fire. I thought that was stupid. Um, the bully wow. thing, the bully thing was a little bit interesting, but I just thought everything was just, I just thought it was a bad movie. I, I would give it like a two out of 10. No. Yeah. Oh. This movie gets, this movie gets an easy seven, um, an easy a for me and an, an easy, what an easy seven. So you would rank it the same as prey. I actually, I actually, I say I take that back. It's an eight. It's an eight. That's that's crazy. Because as a film major, yeah. you, this movie it was so bad. It was not that bad. And I know, yeah, Rotten Tomatoes scores, but but honestly, Rotten Tomatoes those critics love pedophilia, so oh, I can see that. Oh no, 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 yeah. no, no. Any, anything no. to do with like controversial, like no, weird, no. quote unquote artsy film, no, no, where no, it's no, involves no, like little no. kids, are always going to give high scores. No, 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 and and nothing, nothing like that. It's not. It, and I'm not saying that's you. I'm, no, just, I'm saying, just saying. I looked at the Rotten Tomato score and I was shocked. How could this 
pile of crap movie get this score? Uh, no, it's a good movie. But when you put that in, and when you put it into that, kind of what do you mean kinda, it's good? How is it a good movie kinda, even without that? Without that, it's it's, so it's an so interesting bad. premise, but so but even the way it's shot, like the I pacing, know, I know I did not think about that, but no, the pacing in the me, movie is awful. No, I didn't. I didn't mind the pacing. It happened so was, fast. It, 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 it had an eerie feel to it, and it was creepy. And the dude, but upon watching it again, like that scene. I don't remember that scene where the guy with the, with the father at the father's house. I don't remember that at all. Like I was like, "What is this?" Like I'm watching yeah, see the that, uncuts. That like, didn't make any sense. And now I'm trying to remember. And maybe maybe you remember is like they're sitting in the cafe, that whole little group, and he goes over to the dad. Who is he the dad of? I don't know. Remember that he goes and sits down and talks to him. And oh, says, the dad of the guy that got, was killed, right? Of of the boy? No, the, the the at the beginning. Yeah, the guy. That was the dad of that guy. Maybe because I, I, I know you. I know what you're talking about now. See, that was one they intersplice these like the. But see, that's the thing about it. I thought it was different in the way that they didn't. You did kind of go on little it was, side plots. It was with different those, in that the movie didn't make sense with its storytelling. <laughs> and it wasn't. Is it recording? Yeah, no. Oh. And it wasn't like Memento where everything made sense at the end. I'd still at the end, I was like, why did they include half these scenes in this movie? So what do you think that she's doing? <clears throat> you said. I don't know if they can hear you. I can't hear you that well in the headphones. So, uh, so no. So what do you think that they're what they're doing is or she's doing at the end of the movie? At the end, I, I think. Well, you said it even before I said it. I think she. Maybe Smurf is one that said it. she's mm. she's probably grooming him. Um, I don't know if she actually likes him or not. I mean, if she she pretended to like him pretty well, but she's I also think she, two, I think she likes. She's him. had two hundred years to practice this though, so it's I like think, how many guys? But she, you can't really pretend like that. I don't know. I, I mean, mean like, wh- and then why would you? Why would you pretend? To be like that, I, I don't know why she just doesn't. It's the haircut. She just, liked the haircut. Just turn them, you know. Like, and that's what I, and that's what I was together. thinking. And that's what I was thinking. They could be like, you know, the new um, interview with the vampire. Yeah, with Lestat and oh, I forgot the cut. Oh, I can't remember his name now. Lestat and oh, did you see interview with the vampire? Yeah, I mean Tom Cruise. Tom, oh, yeah, Tom Cruise, Brad, Brad Pitt, Pitt yeah. Kirsten Dunst. Yeah, and what? It's been a long time though. <laughs> when they turned her, she was so mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Twilight. She was so mad. Who did it? Who did it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this doesn't even make my top like fifteen of vampire movies. This movie, you know, the story. I without knowing any of the backstory, the movie creeped at a pace to me where it's intriguing enough display this dispositioned the townspeople in a way to where you got it you kind of got it all out of the way it wasn't like it was just enough to keep it the flow going Mm -hmm. to me especially after after the um the helper was killed it kind of picked up pace a little bit more. The whole Gianna thing, whatever her name, I keep saying Gina, but it's, it was spelled differently. Yeah. Well, that whole thing, you needed to see that, I think, because the disorganization, even though she's been two, she's 200 years old or whatever, or been doing it for 200 years, can she continue, like, well, why the, did why did she suck so bad at being a vampire after that's what, years? That's what I was I about understand. to say. That's what I was about to say. Can she learn stuff, or is she still has the capacity of a twelve year old? No, I, I, think, I don't know. I, I don't. I can't. She seems way more advanced than a twelve year old, as far as like. I don't know. I don't. But get she it. doesn't know what steady going steady means. Like, like I, I don't. I, and that's where I didn't think, know what a Rubik's cube was. And that's where I think she was sort of playing dumb because. After that amount of time, there's no way. And that's what I'm thinking. And if you're that bad, you're that inept at killing people, and you're doing it in public knowing that what's – but you have a helper 
to help you to do these things. It's well, I, I'm I, I'm trying to figure it out. It doesn't yeah. make any sense, but I generally think that she liked Oscar, um, and she didn't want to harm him. Obviously, she she was fond of him. She never lied to him. Told him exactly what she was. She might have kept some stuff, but she never was like. You know, blah 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 blah, or come get some candy or whatever. It was just, I'm, I am. This is what I am. Don't like me. I we can't be friends. Uh, I'm not a girl. I flew up here. Um, you know, I, I am a vampire, <laughs> and yes, you got to let me in. Right. It, and he let her in. So the med thing is like, let the right one in. Let the right one into your heart. Let the right one into your life. That kind of thing, the bigger message is not just about that. Like you find someone who's in your life and you let them in, let the right one in. And is she a monster? She's a monster technically. Does she care about him? Yes. Maybe. Yes. You don't murder a whole bunch of dudes, uh, uh, the bullies just on a whim she wasn't doing I, that before i don't know i think i i think i think i agree with smurf on this one so it was it was weird and 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 it was it was when you especially when you're just seeing i didn't watch too many foreign films and 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 this one was like man this is really I really love, interesting i love foreign films and so i i've since you know watched so many different types of movies and there, there's a lot of messed up stuff that happens yeah. in these movies i gotta pee this is far from it <laughs> i'm gonna pee my pants oh i'll be right back okay, okay i'm gonna leave the door open see if you can hear me no you gotta you gotta filibuster no i am so i don't i, I mean I, like i said i don't think that this movie was like anything in particular uh, of of that nature i didn't know any of that backstory but it it, it was interesting to me the different things after the fact, like thinking about what it could be after they get off that train. Like what, what are they going to do? Like, how are they going to live their lives? Why did he leave his mom? She felt, it felt like she was, you know, she cared about him. And, and the, the scene with the dad and the friend may have been uncomfortable, but the dad cared about him too. What was it that was making him, lonely and drove him away if that's even that thing or was it just that he cared about ellie so much that that superseded everything else so i don't know i made it i don't know it was it was definitely Something <laughs> you're really going strong here, huh? I was until you came back. You messed up my whole flow. Did you hear me peeing? No, oh, that was glorious. It's like 32 ounces of pee. Uh, nobody cares. Nobody, yeah. knows. but anyway, it's a combined score of four. What that's our combined score for the movie. Well, did you average it? Yep, law of averages. Yeah, no, sorry. I, I just, yeah, it was too gross for me. Yeah, well, I mean, all the movies aren't going to be like, you know. Heart of Stone. Yeah, Heart of Stone, whatever. That, movie. <laughs> that I mean, movie was way better. You know, I just, I am, yeah. That's what you are. I'm, I, I I wasn't <laughs> expecting that that particular take on the film that from that that perspective. But as I'm, and I'm just trying to process it. It's 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 a decent decent take, I guess. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, so do you want to change your score? No. Okay. No, I'm gonna change my score. I'm gonna do just because you have a different opinion. Well, I got you to change the praise score, so I was happy about that. No. No, if I change my score, it's going to a nine. Um, oh my gosh! If you give that a nine, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. Minus everything that happened in it. <laughs> <laughs> Check the movie out. We'll don't see. don't watch this movie. The next movie 
we're going to watch is Doom. It's we good. already made our Super Bowl. Doom's going to be better. We already made our Super Bowl predictions, and we were wrong on the at the championship. Prediction. We did? Yeah. What did we say? The Rams or the Ravens were going to I said the win. Ravens? Are you sure? You said the Chiefs were going to. I said that. Yeah, you said that. It seems said. like I would get it right. You got it wrong. We both were looking for. You both said the Chiefs and the 49ers are going to lose. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I don't remember saying that. I think I said I wanted them to lose. Nope. You said they were going to lose. You said it was something weird. Chiefs lose by 15 on a last second field goal. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. 49ers lose by interception. And wrong. We were close. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Both were wrong. I said Ravens and Lions. That the exact opposite happened. So who's going to win the Super Bowl? Hmm. Who's in it again? Chiefs and the 49ers. Okay, so I'm going to go with Purdy gets hurt. In the first series, his backup comes in, throws for 450 yards and six touchdowns, and they lose by 10 points. So the Chiefs win. Chiefs win. Again? They're always going to win with Taylor Taylor Swift. Chiefs win. This will be the second time they played the 49ers. 49ers had Garoppolo, a quarterback, that's the first time. Mm -hmm. He's handsome. And then... um, now they have Purdy. Purdy. Yeah, so. mm. Who do you think wins? Mm. I don't like either one of these teams. I don't. As a Raider fan, I don't like. I them. hate that it's red and red. Ugh, it's too the, much. I hate. Yeah. We need like. I wish it was like. That's why I want the Lions and the there. Dolphins versus the who else has cool colors like the Packers. That'd be a cool color matchup. Yeah, that's cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah. But um, uh, it's tough. It really is because I, I can't stand. But I got a, I have family that really like the 49ers. Ugh. And as much as I, I – the Chiefs are in our division, so I can't really root for the Chiefs. Well, but, I mean, I don't know what you saw. The, um, the, the Swifties could come out in full force and really support this show. So I think we should go with Taylor Swift – Okay, how about you? Do, how about you go? Taylor with Swift's that? gonna win. How about you go with that, and then I'm gonna go with the 49ers, and and hopefully that it's a good game. At least I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm gonna be watching the game, and regardless, and enjoying a cigar and some bourbon, and yeah, some and I'm and wearing a tuxedo. Bagel. Um. The tuxedo with with a flip flops with a fedora, <laughs> sleeveless. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we can see your feet. Oh no! Mm-hmm. But so yeah, so yeah, so you have you have the Chiefs winning because you're going with Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. I have the 49ers. This makes me upset to say it, and um, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, um, all all of you guys appreciate you listening. Seriously, um, I, kn- I know yeah. I joke a lot, but we do appreciate you, India. It's it's honestly UK that I hate the most. <laughs> I knew you it was remember, coming. You losers lost the war. I knew it losers, was terrible food. I, I knew it was coming. So anyway, direct Weird all the teeth. mail towards this guy, and <laughs> you're the one that gets the hate comments. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. It is. It is. I'm gonna get a bunch of comments and say they're a bloody bloke. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it is gonna be. It's. It's. I funny. will catch you at the top of the morning. It's funny, but it's. It, it is it's the reality of life, I guess. People do because, suck. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we don't want to end on a bad note, though. We just want to end on a movie about pedophilia (laughs) and Taylor Swift. That's not what the movie was about. The N word. So, you guys, thank you for listening. No, we will see you next time at seventy two (laughs) entgroup dot com. Make sure to get all of your subscriptions in. Like, share, subscribe, pre order. We'll give you a dollar each. The the beginnings of sorrow. (laughs) What? What? 
And um, and yeah, like and make comments, whatever. You make your comments. Comment. Comment as hard as you know. Comment. The, the meanest comment wins. No. Yeah. No. No. Well, whatever. Do Go whatever. Ahead. Do yeah. what's your life. If you, do, get, I can't tell. You, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. If you, it's if your you life. The more you comments, the better the algorithm for us. So you know, it's your life. You Go ahead. It. Just be like, what's this? Uh, what's this? Kramer getting off stage? Just whatever. Just go ahead. Rapid fire. Machine gun. Might as well just get them all out at once. Ooh, we. Ooh, we. Anyway. All right. Well, we are. (laughs) Think about that South Park episode when it's it was N blank G G E R. And he's like, people that fuck you. (laughs) Naggers. Naggers. Yeah, it's so bad. It's so bad. The people in the crowd, like, what? Ridiculous. Anyway. All right. Yeah, yeah. Boom. All shakalaka. All right. Yeah. That has been another episode of All the Eggs and Bacon. <laughs> we appreciate you listening. Oh, my God. And I'm glad you found your sign- soundboard. I'm succulent. <laughs> M.M.B. <Yeah>. Jr. <laughs> be well. Be well. So, uh, be well's in the house today, guys. Is that the end? Um, be well. Be well's here. Yay, be well's here. I hate our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast hates you. It's now become aware of itself. <laughs> it's coming after you. Probably. It's over. You're done. All right. Bye. <laughs>